Well, I, I would not say it's for all comers. Um, by the FDA guidelines, it's for prostates between 30 grams on the small side and 80 grams on the large size. And why is that? Well, because in the pivotal trials that we did, the, you know, the research trials for the FDA, uh, FDA approved them, let's say we did them. Um, uh, we we uh, positioned that we would only be looking at prostates within that area. And that, that's a pretty wide range of prostates and actually it covers the majority of men. Mm -hmm. However, once the instruments and the technology has been approved um, by the FDA, the FDA doesn't stand in between a patient and a physician. It stands between a company and the patient. So right. as physicians, we can use our own judgment and decide, hey, you know, in this man whose prostate is 90, could I use Resume? The answer is absolutely. What about a man whose prostate volume is 100 grams? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. When I get above 100, then, you know, then I'm having a talk with the patient that all these great things about resume that we, we know about and have proven, we can get into the great things later. Mm -hmm. um, well, we don't have as much information when we get to very large prostates. So you have to couch it like, well, you, you're, you're a little bit in untested ground, sir, in your 140 gram prostate, which is my personal limit on um, mm -hmm. uh, you, you might lose some of the, you might lose some of those, these advantages, you know, early recovery, preservation of sexual function, you know, these types of things, um, which are actually great attributes of the technology. When you get up to very big prostates, maybe that's not, we, we just don't know. And, and, and there are people doing that. Um, the research is not as controlled. Um, I'm doing it uh, and hopefully in a very controlled way. But um, so you wouldn't want to say it's a panacea. But if you choose the right patient, it's a, it's a very useful technology.